What's up, everybody? Big Herc, 916, and tune in to another episode of Prison Talk. I got here with me, my man Bosco 100, and uh, I've been meaning to sit down with him and ask him some questions here for a minute. Bosco, having grown up, man, in a pretty crazy environment on the streets, what would you say is one of the craziest situations that you've uh, experienced or seen, you know, being on the streets, man? Because I know there's a lot of things that we go through having, um, you know, been involved in stuff in the neighborhood? I mean, I've seen a lot of crazy shit. Like, man, I've been involved in, man, I have seen so much, but like, I think the most trauma, the most traumatizing thing for me would have been like, when my boy got killed, mm. and, uh, I was in a car with him. We was in a car together. I was in a passenger seat, he was driving, mm. and some dudes pulled up on the side of us and just sprayed the car up, and my boy ended up getting shot in the head. I ended Damn. up getting grazed in my nose and shit. But, like, honestly, like, like, where I could, like, me growing up, like, I seen so much crazy stuff, it's like hard, like, I could go on for days about crazy stuff I saw, like, I seen, a, you know what's crazy, like, one day I seen a lady and this ain't even, this wasn't even like no gang shit. This was just in the hood. I think I was going to McDonald's and I seen a, a truck run an old lady over. Like the old lady was coming across the street and like one of like the big rig rolled her over and she folded all up and I just remember it was just like, like I, yeah, I seen some shit, man. So I can't even like, yeah, it's crazy. Has, I mean, having an experience and a homie get shot right in front of you, man, a lot of people, you know, don't really know how that feels, man. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I've been shot at, man, and by the grace of God, it wasn't my time to go. So, I, you know, I didn't get hit, but somebody got hit behind me. But, um, you know, that stuff, it, it just, it, it, it makes you feel some kind of way. But then at the end of the day, you kind of think, well, damn, I'm still here, so I'm, I'm that dude. Or, you know, it kind of, it puts like a false sense of reality to you, man. Yeah. I mean... And so, you know, a lot of youngsters don't really get it, man, when they when they see stuff like that and don't recognize that's a sign, you know. You were blessed. That yeah. Was a ble like, it's, it's crazy because so many different times and so many different situations where I could have been dead just like that. Like, it was like... That close? That close. Like, so, like, that was just like, that was like one of the last times right there. Like, another time me and my boy was... Uh, me and one of my boys was walking. We was about to go to the store to get some blunts. And we was walking across the street. So just as we got to the corner, it's a residential street though. So just as we got to one corner, we about to cross over. A car come flying down the block. So just like when they stop at, the, they didn't even stop at the stop sign. They blew through the stop sign and everything. But we crossing the street. Two dudes just jumped out, one jump out the sunroof, one jump out the passenger, I mean, out the driver window. And they just started blaming with two big ass, I never, I'll never forget. Both of them had big ass 357s. The dude out the drive, out the sunroof had a big ass chrome 357. And then the one out the driver in the back had a big ass cannon to them. Both of them just boom, 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 boom. And I swear it was like, they were so close and they got up on us so fast. I couldn't even run. It was mm, just like all I froze. could do. Is, yeah, no, all I could do is drop. Like, cause it was like if I run, they gonna get me. Yes. Yeah. Cause it was just like so. All I could do is just drop, and I, so I dropped down to the ground. But I'm still looking at them. But mm. I just laid as flat as I could, and they just was. I would just remember. Just I remember seeing him hang out the roof, and I just remember, I just remember the sparks coming off the ground like ping, 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 like. I really like that. I really thought I was about to die right then. And uh, like, by the grace of God, like I didn't even get hit. Like my boy didn't get hit. Like, damn, it was crazy though. But that was just like, that's why I knew I was special. Like not yeah. to say like, you know what I mean? Not like that, but I just always like felt special in my life. I felt blessed. Like, you know what I mean? Just blessed. Like, yeah, it's, uh, how, how old were you say you were at that time? That was, uh, I think I was eight. What's that? That was 2001. I might have been 19. Mm. I might have been 19 years old. Yeah, man. It's, it's uh, you know, life. We just, you know, a lot of times, especially when we're, we're out there and it's like, them dudes, you probably didn't even really know them. Like, they just figured you were somebody or maybe they were somebody, you know what I mean? Nah, it was some gang shit. We yeah. knew who they were. It was like, 
Cause my boy had just got killed like the night before, okay, okay. Or, like two nights, two days, or, like a couple of days. It had been going up, like some shit had had some escalating. Other, yeah, it had, had some, some other stuff had went down, and one of my other partners got killed. Mm. So then that was crazy too. That I was right there when that happened. I was standing right next to him. He got shot in the neck. And it was crazy. It was crazy. Man. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, I mean, I, I think about that now, and I look at like life how it is now, man. I mean. A lot of my stuff happened when I was younger, but like, you know, just being in a similar situa situation, the dudes ran up on us so fast and they leaned out the car though, but they waited for us to say something back. They like, you know, what's happening now? You know what I'm saying? And they looking at us and we looking at them. And I know if we would have said the wrong thing, it would have been a rap. So I'm just right. sitting there. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't, I ain't gonna say I'm where I'm from and that. I'm just standing there. And yeah, that's what I thought, you know what I mean? And they rolled off. And I said, man, after that, I said, I'm gonna give me a pistol to go to school now. So it turned me just into like, since you ain't gonna kill me, I'm gonna make sure I'm ready next time. And it's uh, it's and crazy, man. Just yeah, how we think and for, that's the cycle. you know what I mean? So, like now, I don't even know these dudes, but I had got into funk with their partners a couple, like a day before. So now I guess they, you know, but now I need to protect myself. So I'm ready to kill them because of this some bullshit. turn you into an animal, bro. The streets are turning into an animal. Bro. Man, you know. Just out of defense, just trying exactly, to like, exactly. just trying to defend yeah. yourself and like, but it'll turn you into an animal. You know, you don't want to get caught slipping. Yeah, it, it, you know, it's, it's, and a lot of people, man, to, to pull away from that, to change that in retrospect now, with us sitting here talking, to show that, hey man, you can evolve beyond that. It's like, man, it, it's, it's crazy. That's not man. it, that's not, it's not nah. the end of the road. Like, nah. that's not. Like you, you feel like, like coming up, like you feel like so dedicated to it, and you just wanna, you wanna be the best you can be at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, because yeah. that's what everybody's doing, so it make you feel like excelling at this. But nigga, if you knew how much more it was to life, and how much good food it is out there, <laughs> yeah. and how much beautiful how women it is. Bust. Yeah, all them, all them good <laughs> cheeks to be. Yeah, like it's like you know what I mean? It's like. Once you get exposed to a different side of life, you gonna like, you know, Pete, like, you know how they say, if you knew better, you do yeah. better. See, people, we just gotta know better. So us with platforms and, and people with a voice, like, we just need to do more to spread that knowledge and like, and try to do what we can to show people that other side of life. Like, yeah. and, and, and the reason I brought this up was not to glamorize the craziest thing, but it, it was to show this how we had embraced that and I, I was just listening to a game song the other day, 500 Candles. Mm. And, uh, you know, you know, it's like the dude asked me, said, I'm proud, man, Bubba. You know, and I always think like, for my life to be like, man, I'm proud, you know what I mean? And you think like, damn, you know what I mean? I should be proud to be an entrepreneur, a CEO. I should be proud to be, you know, a, a real estate owner. But we didn't think like that, you know what I mean? We, we have proud of this little neighborhood and we going back and forth to school and we young people taking each other's lives or want to take each other's lives for nothing. Because that's all we knew. Like that's Pro, all. It's a, a program. Yeah, it's program. We, we have the program. We don't own up. We doing all this. And it's like, we just, we, we perpetuate. And it's like, so I did that to, to say that, you know, it's bigger. Like where you at now, where I'm at, it, it's bigger, man. And you guys out there to, to see that, the, you know, whatever you involved in, it doesn't make you any better as a gangster or a super thug is to see that, hey, man, there's so much more if you put that same energy in another direction. Mm -hmm. Just like how you've taken that now and made your platform. Man, you came you came on 360 degrees, man. man. You know, or 180 degrees. I look at it every day and I'm still amazed myself. Yeah. Man. I'm still amazed, like, damn, I really built this. Like, I mean, I really, like, I did this. Like, yeah. I consistently got on here every day and I built this. Like, it's, yeah. it's amazing. Like, Hey man, it's, it, I think it's a blessing and to have somebody, a real one, that came from the streets to for other people to see that and they know about you, it gives hope to know that, hey man, we can do other things because it's right here, man. We in LA, man. We can go 10 miles and we in Beverly Hills, man. you know? so Everybody ain't got to sell dope to have money. Man. That's right. Big Hurt, Prison Talk. Mm -hmm.